Now I'm not a big fan of the Bhagavad Gita because it's a religious script but by and large it was said in it that uh, for he who has no concentration there is no tranquility. There can be no tranquility. All right, so that was a good quote, wasn't it? On the importance of concentration. Create a clutter-free environment. All right, when you study and where you can. Now, this is the curve of forgetting and how much you can retain the information learned and memorized. Curve of forgetting over time by Herman Hebbinghaus. On the SQ3R technique, this is the one that you want to try out because it is reading for keeps. All right. Survey, question, read, recall, and review. All right. This is the SQ3R method of reading for keeps. All right. Then there's the pan nutshell version of this, which is to scan, search, and save. Scan, search, and save method can be used if you're researching and looking for answers. Scan, search, and save. Next, how fast or slow should you read? On average reading speeds and how to improve your reading speed overall. 30 to 90 seconds for a 300 word article would be perfect. Eliminate bad reading habits so, such as inefficient eye movement, and uh, not being able to avoid distractions and even eye fatigue. All right. Remember to practice because practice makes perfect. Train yourself to become a super reader. Try memory aid devices to help you recall and retain the info learned. Now, catchphrases are a great way to help you remember what you have learned. Aren't they? Build your own library so that you set up and cultivate a habit of reading. Cultivate your own library. I suggest you build your own library and your selection scan and should reflect your own tastes and interests. But try to make them varied and wide enough. Alright, yeah. Have some classics, contemporary fiction poetry, and even famous people's biographies in them. Save your high school and college texts. You'll be amazed at how some of the material retains its relevance over the years. So yeah, even newspapers do sometimes. As W. H. Auden once said, no book is undeservedly remembered while many are forgotten. Take notes. Use your own words to write a synopsis of the main ideas. Use an outline, diagram or concept tree in the form of a mind map to show relationships and patterns. Writing down key points will further reinforce your ability to remember what you have learned. And then, review. Quiz yourself on those things you must remember. Develop some system by which to review your notes at least three times before you are required to recall the material. The first review should be shortly after you have read the material, the second a few days later, and the final review just before you are expected to recall. This process will help you avoid cram sessions. And finally, implement. Find opportunities to use the knowledge that you have gained, be it a hands-on session or practical session. Study groups and class discussions are invaluable opportunities to put what you have learned to good use, is it not? Yeah? Next up, highlight. When I was in college, I highlighted areas of the text which I didn't feel completely comfortable with. And I also identified single words and sentences that encapsulated a section's major ideas or themes. I concentrated on the keywords, facts and concepts 
and skip the digressions, multiple examples and unnecessary explanations. And I also underlined and highlighted my classroom notes as well as texts to make studying from them easier. Yeah? These make your life easy. What to highlight? Remember to highlight definitions and terms, examples, classifications and listings, use of comparison or contrasts, cause and effect relationships. By doing these, you'll be able to better grasp the gist of what you are reading, is it not? And last but not the least, to become a super reader, you have to build your vocabulary up. You may be reading slowly or, have a tr or having trouble understanding what you read because your vocabulary may be insufficient for your reading level. So remember to use dictionaries and thesauruses, even technical ones, to look up the meanings of what you're reading, of the words that you're reading, so that you can understand the the material read even better. Alright, yeah.